Aloha, everybody, and welcome to part five of Spider-Man. And now we're on issue number five, The Invasion. Here it is, the records room. Surf the web, surf the web. Shut up, Brock, we don't have time. Parker, wait, could it be? Could what? Yes, we sense our other. Who? Sense who? It's our other, the symbiote known as Carnage. We must stop him. Now? Yes, now. We have no choice. <laughs> Wait, make more noise. I'm only breaking and entering here. Spider sense tingling. Now what? Spidey, whoever's behind all this. Got symbiotes. <laughs> These symbiotes must be looking for human hosts. Plunging into battle with symbiotes other than carnage and venom? And hostages? Old Webhead's got his work cut out for him today. That he does, Stan Lee. That he does. <laughs> and by the way, this game came out in 2000, before all the Marvel movies with all the Stan Lee cameos. And I think it was pretty cool that, like, Stan Lee does the narration for this video game. I think the only Marvel movie he actually cameoed in prior to this one was the first X-Men. And maybe the 70s and 80s movies that no one's ever watched. But, uh, you know, it's pretty cool to have Stan Lee in this video game. Though, to be fair, he was in the 90s animated cartoon as well. Uh, Spider-Man went to the real world, where Stan Lee has created Spider-Man, and therefore he met his creator, and that was an episode. <laughs> I'm not kidding, that was actually an episode in the 90s cartoon, and uh, it was fantastic. Either way, as soon as the level starts up, uh, you can flip a switch with webbing through a broken window, and that will save a hostage, and you need to save the hostage in order to finish this level, so has to be done. And then when you go to where that hostage is, through the vent, you'll find the comic book, and that's where it was. But ladies and gentlemen, we're in the Daily Bugle, and now we're fighting the most annoying enemy type in the whole entire game, because their health is really beefy, their attack's really strong, we're fighting the Symbiotes. Ow. Yeah, I, ow. <laughs> Look at my health! <laughs> he punched me three times and nearly drained my entire health bar. Good lord! Oh, by the way, I haven't really shown off the grab feature yet, or the kicking, but uh, we'll be seeing that all that stuff later. But uh, if you push triangle and circle at the same time, Spider-Man will grab the nearby enemy, and then if you push square, he'll actually get onto the, the guy's shoulders and punch him repeatedly in the head to take him down. And it's a lot easier with the lizards and the human enemies because it shaves their health that much quicker. And you. booyah, there are the two hostages safe, so I can leave the level. The exit won't actually open unless you've saved all the hostages, so it has to be done. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you can grab people, and if you push square, you get on their shoulders, beat them in the head. If you push circle, you actually kick them in the back, and you can actually send them very far with this kick. And I'm actually going to be showing that off later in this level as well. Uh, so don't worry, you'll be seeing it in the video. But, uh... Yeah, we're fighting the symbiotes, and they are so annoying. Their health is so beefy compared to the lizards and compared to the humans. And I always activate my double webbing gloves, like my extra strength gloves, in order to shave their health that much quicker, because I can only do a two combo if I have those gloves on. And if I shoot web balls, I will be draining so much web cartridges trying to kill the symbiotes that way. Because you just shoot web ball after web ball after web ball after web ball after web ball, and they just don't seem to go down, you know? And if you just punch them like normal, it's going to be a hell of a lot more than two combos, and that gives them a lot of chance to scratch at you and drain your health really quickly, like we saw that one symbiote do. So they're a bit annoying. Now, by the way, now we have an elevator level. And as soon as the elevator stops, you want to go into the doorway that it stopped at in order to flip a switch inside to make the elevator go again. Uh, it's easy to miss because, like, the opening is so... S it's like the elevator's covering the opening, you know? It stops just at the point where the door's open, and it's, like, really hard to notice that the door's opened, you know? But... Yeah, it's an elevator level. Occasionally, the symbiotes will drop on, and you'll have to fight them. It will constantly plow through all of the symbiote goop that's covering this area. Hey, buddy! And, um... You only have to really s make the elevator start once. And as soon as it plows through the next set of goop, I can actually drop right down to get to the exit, as well as the comic book. But look at my health! 
These guys can really drain your health really quickly if you're not paying attention. If you get surrounded by like three of them, I always run away. I don't even try fighting more than three at a time. You know, I, I, like it just, you get surrounded and they scratch your health down so quickly. There's the comic book in the left doorway. The exit is the right doorway, so that's the best way to remember where the comic book is. You exit the level through the right doorway, you get the comic book through the left doorway. But uh, when you're surrounded by like two or three, maybe get some distance away from them. Cause yeah. Ah, the printing press. A symbiote generator. So this is how the symbiotes are being created. And now we're in the printing press section, and uh, we have four generators to destroy. Now we have three generators to destroy. Apparently these symbiotes are being manufactured through some kind of device that the villain responsible for all this has created. I don't know how you just manufacture symbiotes like that. That's quite the technology. You're basically creating life at that point. <laughs> and uh, not the good kind of life because holy shit, symbiotes are the worst thing ever. They bond to humans and they make them angry and bad and they cover the whole damn city in goop and whoever's making these symbiote machines is a bit of an idiot. <laughs> But uh, the exit of this level will not appear until... Well, it, it'll, it'll, it'll be there, but the exit won't be open until you take out every single generator. But here I'm showing off what not having webbed, glove, webbed gloves is like when you're fighting one of the symbiote creatures, because it just takes so many hits. And the comic book is right under this stack right here. Booyah! That's where that comic book is. But again, if I see like two of them at a time, I'm just running. I'm not fighting the symbiotes unless there's just one of them. And watch out for that! So I didn't really pay attention to it real quick because, you know, the camera angle doesn't really keep up with me. But as soon as you enter that room, the symbiotes actually push this giant roll of toilet paper, or newspaper, whatever, uh, down the thing and actually try to crush you with it. And, uh... The Daily Bugle's weird. <laughs> and then, uh, once you open that shutter, you find magnesium webbing. And magnesium webbing only lasts for one whole bar, and then you have to find another magnesium pellet to refill it. Uh, but it turns your webbing fire. And symbiotes are weak to fire. So you shoot a fireball when you shoot web balls, and you shoot burning webbing when you cover symbiotes with it and it'll actually kill the symbiotes rather quickly as soon as you find those magnesium pellets. So, uh, look out for those, and look out for health as well, because I'm clearly about to die if one of them touches me. I gotta find out what's going on downstairs. The basement of the Daily Bugle. Whoever's controlling the generators has got to be down here. And in case you were wondering how I knew where the exit was, again, there is a helpful compass on the bottom right of the screen uh, most of the time when you need it. Uh, for this particular section, uh, not so much. I have to destroy two more generators in the basement, and then the exit will appear. So again, you have to get the generators destroyed if you want to finish the level. You can't just avoid them, you have to destroy them. Just like you have to save the hostages in the bank or in uh, the first part of this section. But uh, there's the kick. You grab a guy, you push circle, you can kick him into a furnace. <laughs> so uh, there's lots of furnace action going on in the Daily Bugle basement. And again, symbiotes are weak to fire, so you may as well take advantage of it. Or just run by them, because you don't have to kill the symbiotes, not really. You just have to, you just have to destroy the generators, but the, the symbiotes themselves? Eh, just run by them. Just ignore them. <laughs> Someone else will take care of it, you know. So, okay, so there's a comic book hidden here, and you have to shoot the webbing on all of the steam pipes where the steam's coming out, and then your reticle will, sh will turn blue as soon as the reticle goes on those steam valves, and yeah, that's how you get the comic book. <laughs> I don't know how people were supposed to figure that out when you were a kid, because I would never think to shoot webbing on the... The, bust, the busted up valve and to see where the steam is coming from, you know? I would never think to shoot webbing there. I actually had to look up a guide in order to find out where that comic book was, because holy Moses. That's really cryptic. That's, that's something I never had to do ever in this game before, <laughs> you know? 
But the symbiotes become a lot more tolerable once you get magnesium webbing. Oh my god. You just shoot a fireball on them, instant death. Then you're good as gold. You're golden. As Spider-Man says every time he picks up a comic book. Golden. Alrighty, the last generator is through here. You have to flip a switch in order to open the shutter, which I already did, but, uh... You have to destroy both of the bulby, pustule things. If you're playing on easy mode, you only have to destroy one of them, and they're rather easy to destroy, but, uh, I'm not playing on easy mode, so yeah. Now when you go into the hallway, turn left, and the level will end. Hey! Hey! The imposter! The imposter! back here! That's the guy who framed me! And the one who stole the technology! <laughs> I gotta say, you look just like me. Except, you're more angry back alley than friendly neighborhood. Oh, for decades I've wanted to shut that mouth of yours. Finally, that time is upon me! You will die! <laughs> Is it too late for us to be friends? <laughs> Welcome to your nightmare, Spider-Man! Can I just say, I love Mysterio in this game. <laughs> He's just got that air about him that's so cheesy and hammy, and you just feel like all of his lines are like, Now I shall vanquish you and end your life, Spider-Man! <laughs> It's great, it's fantastic, I love Mysterio in this game. But anywho, uh, the boss fights. You cannot punch Mysterio, you cannot kick Mysterio, the only way to damage him is to shoot web balls on him. You have to have webbing, you have to shoot projectiles on him to destroy his knee contraptions, his torso contraptions, and his shoulder ones. And after you destroy all of them, uh, that ends the first phase, which turns all the platforms blue and electrified. And that's when the first comic book shows up. Or sorry, the only comic book. The comic book's right there. I'm going to pick it up right now. Just got it. But it only shows up on the bottom platform after they've become electrified. So uh, you're going to have to take some damage more than likely. But uh, after the first phase, you just have to shoot the shoulder pads again with webbing. And once those are destroyed, you have to hit them in the dome a few times with webbing. And at that point, the electricity is going to be rotating on the platform, so you need to jump over it. And make sure you don't get grabbed by Mysterio, who will throw you down. But uh, just keep facing him, push up and triangle at the same time, and uh, eventually you'll whittle his health down. Right now you're thinking... If only you'd taken that giant act to Vegas instead! Curse your endless babble, Spider-Man! Speaking of babble, let's hear it. Who's behind all this? I'll never tell you! Mysterio may be defeated, but the symbiote invasion cannot be stopped! Symbiote invasion? There are more of them? You fool! There will be more than you can imagine! That fog which blankets the city is preparing everyone in New York for symbiosis! You're the fool, Mysterio! <laughs> Where? Where are they coming from? Go then! On the waterfront! Warehouse 65! A secret passage! If only I could watch them destroy you! Whoever your boss is, he's off his rocker! No one can control the symbiotes! Correction! No one before now! Spare me the propaganda, okay? This isn't a game, Mysterio! The symbiotes will destroy everything in their path unless I can stop them. Alrighty, folks, so now we're approaching endgame. We're about to go to the big bad secret hidden hideout and end this thing. But uh, I should mention, the soundtrack of Spider-Man was actually done by Tommy Tallarico. I've mentioned that name a few times in previous LPs. Uh, if you're familiar with Electric Playground, Reviews on the Run, uh, the concert video games live, you're probably familiar with who he is. Um, and as a big fan of Electric Playground growing up, 
you know, he actually used his own music for that show. There, we always heard Earthworm Jim music, and we always heard Spider-Man music. And the Mysterio boss theme in particular was a theme I always heard during the review segments, during some of the interview stuff. So I got really acquainted with the Mysterio theme watching Electric Playground, and uh, it's one of my favorite songs. It's just so high energy, and it's just a big part of my nostalgia, so yeah. Third person, real-time combat, RPG. It's a two. I think it's a three, it's man. It's a two. All right. It's off. What's worse than the animations are the sounds. What's up, man? The, the sounds. See what I'm saying? I love Tommy Tallarico's music. I love this game soundtrack. And uh, I love Spider-Man. It's a damn good game. Damn good game. So, yeah, we're heading to the final issue in part six. See you then.